We are back at it again, guys, in another episode of Liverpool Career Mode. We're going to speed through some preseason games and get into some transfers. I can't wait. As always, if you haven't subscribed so far, do so to get the future updates and smash a like if you enjoyed the episode. With that, let's get started. So right off the bat here, we got an offer for Connor Randall. We're going to go ahead and up it to 215. Stevie G, we have an opportunity to sign him. Two-year crucial, 15K. Let's see what happens. I'm excited to see if he'll come back. Next up, we have an offer for Lazar for a short-term loan. Let's go ahead and uh, just send him out. All right, guys, we're up to our next match against Dortmund. Let's see how we do. Start off with a penalty and we'll start off the bat. We had six shots, three on target. We got way out of shot, 11, seven on target. Possession wise, we didn't even have 50%, but let's see what we can do next time, guys. So, Christian Kulisek, I'd like to see if we can't sign him up. He is a 17 year old wonder kid. I believe Kopp found him while at Dortmund. So, let's see if we can offer 2 million. Let's see if Dortmund will allow this move to happen. All right, next up is Jetro Williams. Williams, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. We're going to offer 6.5, hoping we can place Moreno and not have to play Milner at left back. Next up is Drakowski. We're going to offer them 2 million to see if we can't get him on the team as a backup goalkeeper. Stevie G is back. He agreed. We're going to sign him up, except put him in the squad. Welcome back to Anfield, Stevie G. Cannot wait. I mean, such an exciting season. Got some other backup goalkeepers in mind if Drakowski doesn't work out, but in that regard, let's go ahead and see if we can't unload Mimule. I'm gonna go ahead and say eight and see if we can get him out. Looks like there's no way to get Drakowski to move in the preseason transfer window, so either January or we start looking for another keeper. I guess let's see what happens here. Sent a flyer out for uh, a trade straight up Tav or for Sako, didn't happen, so let's go ahead and put Balotelli in and do three million. All right, looks like price tag for Jetro Williams is 16.5. Why do I feel that's like astronomically high? Let's go ahead and see if we can up the amount to 10.5 and see if they accept. All right, we're up to our next match, but real quick, let's check and see, and yes, there is another youth scout. Let's go ahead and sign him up. He's a four star, five star. And Jonathan Wilson, welcome to the squad. We're gonna send you out, put you in England for three months, and I'm gonna set it to goalkeeper, and then we'll come back and switch that out after three months. All right, we are up to our next match in the American Challenge Cup. I've tweaked the squad slightly. It's uh, the guys that did not actually start last time, so let's see how we do. better this match uh, we had six shots three on target they had four one on target two areas of improvement are one-on-one -on -one defense and finishing so I'm gonna practice that one of the Premier League youth strikers that's really creating a lot of buzz right now is Colici and Nacho Nacho is what I'm gonna call him from now on I want to see if we can't send out a 9.5 flyer on him doesn't mean we're gonna sign him I want to know your thoughts what striker do we need to pull in or do we so it looks like Dortmund approved our offer at 2 million so we're gonna go ahead and sign him up we're gonna go ahead and give him 18.5 even though he's asking for 20 Try five years and squad rotation to see if he accepts. Looks like we have an extra 2.6 million for our efforts in the American Challenge Cup. I won't show all the trainings, but I want to give you guys an idea of what I'm trying to train and get your input, see if you had any changes as to players and what we should train. Doesn't look like change creation did too well on watch of the guys, but uh, let me know what you think. On to our next match in the American Challenge Cup, we're going to go against Enter this time. This is the starting squad, so let's see how we do.
that's it. We are officially out of the American Challenge Cup. We had uh, seven shots, four on target. They had eight and seven on target. We had the possession, not much else. Well, I don't intend on giving Minulay away, so they want 7.5. I'm gonna up this to eight and see if they'll, they'll go eight one more time. Looks like we have an acceptance offer for Nacho. We're gonna go ahead and give him 58. Five years and squad rotation and see if he accepts. Now this doesn't mean we're gonna sign him, so I do want your feedback. Do we sign Nacho or we look for somebody else? I feel like we could have done better in the preseason tournament, but uh, we had another 3.5 to add to the budget. I asked for advice both in the channel and on Twitter, and Connor Banks replied back that we should get uh, left back David Alva. So I'm gonna go ahead and offer Alberto Moreno and 40 million and see if we can't get this deal done. Uh, I have a feeling he's gonna come back and be worth tons more, but uh, let's give it a shot. All right, we have a transfer offer for Balotelli. We're gonna go ahead and do 12 and see if Marseille will accept. All right, we got an acceptance offer for Christian Pulisic. The United States men's team don't have a lot to cheer about right now, but Christian Pulisic at least is a uh, glimmering hope for the future. So at this point, this is going to stall my attempt to try to get Jonathan Ta. 22.5 just seems a little bit high, but uh, you tell me, is he worth it? And this is not what I wanted to see back. Apparently, Bayer has a rating of 71 million uh, on David Alba, so that's going to end our pursuit today. Alright, so it looks like Nacho has accepted terms, but for some reason, I just don't know if it's the right move. I want your opinion. I think another option might be Angel Carrera. I'm going to go ahead and send an offer out to him here in a bit. We got a loan offer for Pedro. Gonna go ahead and send him out for a one year loan to Oldham Athletic. We got some funky numbers coming back from Marcel, so we're gonna go ahead and up this offer of just shy of 10 to 11. See if they accept. All right, looks like Hull wants Danny Ings for a year uh, loan, so we're gonna go ahead and send him off. Good luck, and let's hope he gets to uh, hopefully an 80 when he comes back. All right, so it looks like Jetra Williams, there's a decline uh, from the PSV, so we're gonna go ahead and offer uh, 6.5 and Mourinho and see if we can get this deal done. And progressing a few days forward, we got an acceptance. So let's go ahead and give him a contract offer. We'll give him 25, five years, and crucial for his team. Let's get Jetro in the lineup. Awesome. So an alternative to Drakowski is Lafon. He's a potential of 88. Let's go ahead and send out a $5 million flyer. All right, we have an acceptance offer from Jetro. So welcome to the squad, man. And I hope you have a wonderful, successful Liverpool career. So I sent off an initial offer for Angel Carrera. Uh, they came back at 21 million. Do you guys feel like he's worth 21 million, first of all? Do you feel like Liverpool needs to spend that kind of money on a striker? Let me know in the comments below. Marseille ended their approach trying to get uh, Balotelli. It looks like now Seville wants them, so they're gonna offer, what, 10? So we're gonna throw this up at 11 and see what happens. Projection came back for Lafont. We're gonna go ahead and up this to 5.2. His asking is 6.5 to see if they accept this. Looks like Portsmouth would like to take Marco on loan for a year. We're going to go ahead and accept this offer. All right, so we're able to work a deal with Lafont now. Let's go ahead and give him his 10000 and we'll put in five years and future first team and see if he accepts. Here's the training for this round. Pulisic, Williams, Gomez, and Origi. A couple Cs, a couple Bs. All right, so it looks like Seville now is rejecting the offer. And something I noticed, uh, Balotelli's actual uh, value went up to 14.5, so uh, I I'm not going to get rid of him at the, the 10 by any stretch of the imagination. Alright, looks like we have some youth squad uh, players coming back. 91 overall. Sign him up. 73, we're going to go ahead and reject him. 86, I'll go ahead and sign 86 up. And 91, nice. And we have one more. Looks like 78, we're going to go ahead and reject. And 79, going to go ahead and reject that one. And Bruno, yep, I'll go ahead and sign him up. 86 potential there. And in 74, we're going to go ahead and reject him. All right, we have a loan offer for Ojo here. It was a one-year loan to Shrewsbury. Hopefully, he can get some leveling going while he's uh, away and then be uh, in our squad for next season. Really need some assistance here, guys. What do you feel like we should be doing with Balotelli here? They want 12. His off his value is 14.5. I just don't want to give him away. All right, so Lafont did not accept the squad role. He wants uh, higher, so we're going to go ahead and give him 10, 5 years, and sporadic, and see if he accepts. All right, we've agreed to terms of Lafont. Welcome to the squad. I hope you have a great Liverpool career. Let's get him in there, and he will be our backup goalkeeper. 
Just as we sign the font, we get our youth squad report back on our goalkeeper search. We've got a few here. Rejection on the first two. Then we find the 94, Morgan Hill. I'm going to go ahead and sign him up. And Taylor Bailey. going to go ahead and sign him up at, 70, at 94 as well. 65-89 on this guy, Mason Alexander. I'm going to go ahead and sign him, and that will wrap that up. Now that we found a couple of goalkeepers as well as signed LaFont, do you feel like we should recall our youth scout and send him back out to find something else besides a goalkeeper? If you agree, tell me what you feel like we should send him out to find. Alright, this has been an extremely long episode compared to what I intended it to be. I'm going to go ahead and stop there. There's a lot going on with transfers, but if you guys couldn't tell, this is my favorite part of the game, so leave your feedback. We have wrapped up our left back situation. The questions I've got right now are striker, what do we look at there? Do we spend money on a young striker like Inacio or Carrera? Let me know. While Atelli, uh, at this point, I have no further offers for him. I'm going to hope we're going to get another one. But do we get rid of him at 12, or is 15 reasonable? And then do we recall our youth scout and send him back out for something else besides uh, goalkeeper? Thanks, guys, for watching. I really look forward to your feedback, and I cannot wait to get the season started. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode, and subscribe to get the future updates. Guys, I'll see you next time.